So now I am conveniently at the shovel here in Marina del Rey, which means if I flip out here, it's shallow. And I am going to do something which I don't think I have ever done before. And that is go to left hand control. So now that one is scooped down. I'm going to flatten out the left one and go maybe be a little gentle on myself, maybe 45 degrees or so. Not too bad. Okay, so now I have left hand control. So I have to remember now to keep a controlling grip on the left hand and let it slip through the right. Ah, this is a little bit tricky. I, I'm, I'm feeling that I don't want to slip it on the right. Keeping it gripped on the left is not so bad. Okay, I'm paddling now. I think for the less, first time ever, left hand control. Now I know, up oh, there I had a little problem. I, I don't know why. I've got to keep that grip on the left hand. Having a higher angle is going to help, certainly. So let me do that. Here I go. Left hand control. Can I sprint? I got to think about it a little bit. But that's what we have brains for. Pretty adaptable. Here I go. Left hand control, first time. Okay. And I'm going to go back to right hand control. I'm going to put the right one parallel, left one. Dip it down a bit. Maybe make it even a little steeper. Not gonna do 90, but like that. Okay, now Gary, keep that right hand gripping the paddle at least hard enough so it doesn't change, slip. And the left hand now, loose grip. And now I'm back to right hand control. Now, I get, granted, I'm not putting tons of power into this, but I could sure that within an hour or so, I'd be able to do that either way. So this may be the world's first demonstration from Kakrap. Morning. How one can do any kind of feather you want if you understand what's going on. Again, what really helps is keeping a firm grip on the control hand. It doesn't have to be really hard, but you don't want the, the shaft to slip, and you want it to slip in the left hand when you have right hand control. As I'm doing now. And getting a high paddle angle helps too, because you don't have to uh, mess too much with the wrist up the control hand and just for fun I am going to uh, put it back on left hand control like that and I may have some fun with this if I find some other surf ski paddlers And I think you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, so now I'm back to left hand control. And again, keep that left hand. If I had duct tape and I had a trouble, I might put some duct tape on there to remind myself I need to not let the shaft slip through my left hand. I want it to slip through my right hand. As a note, I just want to mention that well, see that? It's, it's hard. If, I, if I'm distracted for some reason, so you really have to use your upper level control system here to be mindful right, of what I want to do. Now, have a nice high angle. That will help. 
And I think I'm going to paddle all the way back now to Mother's Beach and maybe find some uh, surf ski paddlers and have some fun with this. Say, hey, why don't you try my paddle? It, it feels different for some reason. What do you think of my paddle? I made some change. Do you like it? And they take the paddle and they go swimming. <laughs> that would be cool, eh?